Did you know that not all ACL tears require surgery? If you want to know more, continue watching. The majority of ACL injuries are managed with surgical interventions and post-surgery rehab these days. However, a lot of people don't even know that you can even manage ACL injuries without surgery in a lot of cases. So recently, studies have shown that even after an ACL reconstruction, only 44% of athletes return to competitive sports. Studies also show that the percentage of people who develop knee osteoarthritis 20 years post-injury were not significantly different in those who have had reconstruction and those who were managed conservatively. There was not enough evidence to say whether surgical or non-surgical intervention had superior results in the functional outcomes long term. However, not all ACL injuries have good prognosis if managed conservatively. Continue watching um, to see if you would be a good candidate for a non-operative approach or book an appointment in Miami or Lakeland's Physiotherapy for a consultation. So, the need for surgery really highly depends on the type of activity that you want to get back to. If you're generally an active person who wants to go back to high-level sports with moderate knee laxity, then surgery might be the best option for you. Um, a more complicated ACL injury which also involves meniscal damage or damage to other ligaments might also mean that surgery could be the best option. However, if you want pain-free knee movements and are not planning to do high-level sports, or if you only have a simple ACL injury, you might be suitable for conservative management. Another thing to note is that also, even with surgery, you will still need to do pre-rehabilitation and also approximately 12 months of rehab to strengthen up your muscles and return to sports successfully. If you want to check if you're a good candidate for conservative management, Give us a call and book an appointment with us at Miami or Lakeland's Physiotherapy. It is vital that exercises after an ACL injury are guided by your physiotherapist, especially in the early days. However, you also need to manage swelling. Some tips and tricks to manage swelling can be summarized with the POLICE principle. So, what does POLICE stress stand for? P stands for protection. However, this does not mean that you stop moving. This means that in the early days, it could be best to have a knee brace or potentially some crutches to help offload your knee for the time being. OL stands for optimal loading, which is finding the perfect amount of load that your knee can tolerate in the early stages. This is best done with a physiotherapy consultation to make sure that you're not over or under loading your knee. Optimal loading can help accelerate your healing and the right amount of activity can actually decrease edema. The ICE is your normal ice, compression, and elevation. Remember, don't ice for more than 20 minutes, and when elevating, make sure that your swelling site is above the level of your heart. If you want to learn more, of, or if you have recently injured your ACL, give us a ring and book an appointment with us at Miami or Lakeland's Physiotherapy.